Who was going to be giving evidence against themselves? Obliged to say anything at all in this case. Oh my God. Testify in any way. Don't uh, do this, dude. You, if you decide that you do not wish to testify, uh, there'll be no mention made of that unless Don't do it. you request that it be mentioned or one of your attorney mentions it, one of your attorneys mentions it. Um, if you decide to remain silent, I will not comment on it. The district attorney will not be permitted to comment on that. Uh, and the jury will either be given an instruction that they are to disregard uh, the fact that you decided not to testify and may not consider it in any way in reaching their verdict. If you decide that you do want to testify, <gasps> then um, the district attorney will be allowed to question you about anything which is germane to this case. Um, relevant, pertinent. Uh, and that could even extend to matters for which you're not on trial. Uh, an example would be, uh, if it's relevant to this trial, and I've ruled some of it irrelevant, but if uh, there, if it becomes relevant to the trial, mm -hmm. he could ask you questions about marijuana. That uh, if they're relevant, pertinent to the case, you'd have to answer, and could not take the fifth on those. You can't selectively take the fifth on some matters, and not on others. Once you're on the witness stand, once you testify, he can cross-examine as to any matter pertinent to this case. Okay. People have no right of silence with respect Thank you. to those. Um, I'm not suggesting that I would permit him to examine you about that. Uh, but if, uh, as the evidence develops, he feels it becomes relevant, he can make another shot at trying to let me testify, trying to, let, uh, trying to get you well, try to get me to admit evidence about that, and then in that event, we'll be allowed to question you about it. So that's one thing. He can ask you also about any criminal record. Is there a criminal record? Yes. Yeah. You can ask about a criminal record. You'll have to clear that with me first. Um, or any recent act of dishonesty. Um, maybe something that he'll be permitted to question you about. Um, do you understand that? Any question about this at all? Don't do it. If you decide to testify, you'll have a choice. Either I will say nothing about it at all, and district attorney can't comment on it. No, what am I doing? If you decide to testify, <laughs> the district attorney will be allowed to come in on your testimony and you'll have the choice whether you want me to say nothing on the subject of your decision to testify or no, I'm really I'm sorry it's Monday uh, if no, you you're decide just to old. testify then there will be an instruction given about weighing the testimony which provides that your testimony should be weighed as the testimony of any other witness. Uh, considerations of interest uh, and other matters bearing upon credibility apply to the defendant with any other, as well as any other witness. Um, pardon, pardon me? I can't hear you. Either instruct the jury that just because the defendant is charged in this case, you should not discredit his testimony. That's there, the language you're talking about. That's, you that's optional. One way. Yes. It, it, thank you. Um, I knew I was struggling with it a little bit. Um, so there, there will be some discussion about your testimony if you decide to testify it, but uh, to testify. 
but it will be uh, along the lines that uh, Mr. Ober has indicated. Do um, you have any questions about this at all? I think all the questions I have are now sitting with at least two of my three attorneys. And I would like a little bit more time for them to consider what I've asked of them. But I will be doing whatever they recommend anyway. So largely it's going to be on their advice. And I think they're pretty clear. On how he has a nice voice. Be. Okay, well, I'm going to continue the discussion now. <clears throat> and I'm going to rely on them to communicate to me what your final decision is and you can't change it up to the last minute but i need to know about it uh so uh, if your lawyer says uh, calls you as a witness then uh i will uh, take that as indicating that you have made a final decision one way or the other she calls you to testify meaning that uh, you've made a decision to testify and waive, give up your right to remain silent. If she tells me that you don't wish to testify, then I will take that as an assertion of your privilege and that uh, we'll proceed with the case on that basis. Hmm. Any question about this? Well, I understand. Has anybody threatened you or pressured you or forced you in any way? In any way regarding my the testimony? Decision about testimony? No. Has anybody promised you anything in exchange no. for this? Is your mind clear today? I believe so, yeah. Are you feeling all right? Good as I can be. Have you ever been treated for a mental or emotional disorder? No. Uh, where were you born? Fort Washington. And Fort Washington? And um, do you have any questions at all about uh, your rights here, I, I, I have to say, I, I, I didn't do as well as I could have done in explaining it to you, but just so you understand, it's your decision and no one can force you in any way against your will. And even if you decide to overrule what your attorneys are suggesting, you that's your decision entirely and they have to accept, accept it. And as do I. Yeah, I think my attorneys gave me an excellent explanation. I do have concerns. I do have questions. But as far as testifying is concerned, I think we're all, they were very clear with me about that. And like I said, I would like a few more minutes to talk to them about a concern. I don't know that how they're going to address it. But I think we're already basically on the same page. How things okay. are going to go forward. And you will have a little more time before the, the occasion arises for you to decide. But uh, at this point, as I indicated, uh, I'm going to assume that uh, you're fully comfortable with whatever questions, maybe not what they end up telling you, but that you've been fully advised and you've made a decision based upon uh, your own considerations and their advice. Yep. Okay. Yes. Any other uh, question anybody wants to ask? No, Judge, not at this time. We're just waiting on, I did send that second stipulation to the clerk, so we're waiting on getting that so we can sign it and we'll be ready to go. So is our plan then to present the rest of the defense case, including the stipulations, and then for the defense to rest and the state to try to present its witness before lunch? Um, yes. Okay. Uh, but if it gets really late, uh, we'll break for lunch before your witness. Okay. Okay. Um, all right, I, I'm satisfied that uh, <clears throat> Mr. Anderson is acting freely, voluntarily, and intelligently, understands uh, the nature and qualities of his acts, and uh, he needs a little more counseling with his attorneys, he wishes, and, uh, and then uh, whatever decision he makes, uh, I'm satisfied there is no constitutional impediment. Um, anything else before we start? Uh, I, I would rather just guess well, that stipulation. What's the sequence? Uh, we were thinking Zellman, last physical witness, then I would Zellman. read in the two stipulations, defense would rest, 
State would call their last rebuttal. I just I wasn't remembering the name. So uh, let's go with that then. Wow. So this could be with the jury tomorrow. 